All right, what's up guys? I'm gonna do a quick little video of installing a new front plate bracket on my Alpha. So here we go. All right, so this was the bracket that came with the car. Um, big problem was that it was actually, when the plate was installed, it was blocking the uh, front collision sensor. So I was getting false signals and I had no clue what was going on and I realized what was going on. So I took the plate off and fixed that problem. Um, this was in there pretty good. So I used a longer lever arm in attachment to my um, socket wrench to get this off. Um, it's now off there, okay? And downside is it left a little bit of an indent in this plastic piece. Um, what can you do? It is what it is at this point. That sucks, okay? So in there we got the tow hook and I got this other kit here which is going to be a lot more stable and secure and it'll allow me to mount it the proper way so the plate will be up here and not blocking the sensor okay here we All go right, so this end piece to the new bracket and the insert is 17 millimeters and i kind of made sure it was in there i'm going to finish it off with the wrench here all right, so I got it in there pretty good. Um, make sure not to over tighten it, um, just because if I do need to remove it, install the tow hook, I wanna make sure that's easily accessible and removable. All right, so here is the actual bracket for the license plate. It comes with some nice instructions, um, and I'll show you all the hardware and even the tools needed to get it on there. Um, so let's see what that looks like. All right, so first step, you know, take the bolt here, put it through the circular little plastic washer, if you will, through that. Then that inserts through this metal piece. And then the backing is going to be this guy here. Okay, and that fits into the groove and kind of locks it in like so. And now it can slide and you can adjust it the angle as needed. So the next step is to insert a rubber washer, but in the pack they gave a locking washer and no rubber washer. So I'm gonna go with that and then there's a spacer. And then from there, this end is gonna go into the actual tow hook part. So just kinda got it started there. Okay. All right, once that was on, the plate comes in with a couple hex screws there. And I actually removed the spacer as I didn't want it to be sticking away too, too much. So that is kind of the clearance I had back here. Nice and rigid. Um, so I don't think that, and that's not even screwed in all the way. And it's pretty rigid. And I'm going to play around with this. I want to make sure that I'm not blocking the sensor. So I think that's a good height, you know, but I'm not sure how that sensor works and what it's picking up. So I want to make sure I'm not running into the same issue. But I also don't want to necessarily secure it all the way at the bottom here, as that one might make it a little bit more floppy. So I'm going to play around with exactly where I want to position the plate. Uh, but other than that, simple, easy directions, looks nice. Um, for a front plate as much as I hate to run one, but I don't feel like getting pulled over all the time here in Massachusetts. All right, if you guys like the video, make sure to drop that thumbs up and stay tuned for another one.